This is an unusual Saturday video. Yes, we are not doing the boss event. We are not doing this boss on this map with these restrictions. I am not the sweatiest of the sweats. And as you can tell by the title, we're going to be doing something else that is sweaty, but requires fewer things in order to succeed. Namely, we're going to go with two Mega Pop Sun Avatar, no harvest. Our usual start, but with an unusual hero this time. Usually we go for Pat on a no harvest two Mega Pops, but we're going to need Geraldo for this particular scenario for one of his items. This is going to be our Dark Monkey, which will transform into the Super Monkey, but we cannot do that until A, we get Gerald on the field, and B, we can unlock the Worn Hero's Cape, which is at level 6 of Geraldo. Well, the only benefit of being on Cornfield is that being an advanced map, Geraldo will level up that bit more quickly. And there goes round 10, which means now we can place down our Hero of the Day. Obviously, that's Geraldo. Progressing quite nicely so far, although in a number of rounds on this particular challenge, we're going to need some of Geraldo's items to be able to get through said rounds. Also, we're placing a ninja down for A, round 24, and B, a balloon sabo later on down the line. O to O for our dark monkey, but we're going to apply pickles as well so that we can fire darts which are a little bit more powerful. And we got through round 15 very nicely, good. Round 20, are we going to suffer here? No, we're not, although we still need to think about our next moves quite carefully. Even though we're going to get one hero's cape soon, we're going to need to think about placing down some other towers, because once we get the Dark Monkey into a Super Monkey, its footprint is going to increase in, well, size. So that means we're going to need to place some towers around it before its transformation. The sharpening stone and the wonderful... No, it doesn't actually. <laughs> the sharpening stone pickle help us out and the answer is no. What about a dob of glue and pickles so that it slows these down for enough time so that they can be popped by everything and the answer is yes. Excellent. White balloons, lovely. At least we can skip the pink layer, that's good. I hate the pink layer. 23 and now 24. So Gerardo is very close to getting the one's hero cape. It's going to take another two rounds or so. The ninja monkey is going to take care of this singular green balloon. And now we've got ourselves a bit of a conundrum of round 25. Because round 25 has purple balloons. Can we do this with another dob of glue? Or are we do are we gonna need another balloon down sorry, another tower down in order to deal with these balloons? And the answer is uh could be Somehow that time but was very good. Delay our spawn of the dob of glue there. Zebra balloons, not an issue whatsoever. Okay. We do have the hero's cape. But we do need to put down some other towers first before we can actually put that down. So I'm thinking of a glue gunner here. A second potential balloon sabo down here. And then I'm going to place down an ice tower over here. Which I'm going to leave at this stage. Just simply because you're going to be required for round 100 for a certain imprisonment. Okay, we definitely do need the hero's cape as soon as possible. There we go. Oh, wait, hold on. Can we actually afford... Yeah, we can afford an alchemist for the next round, which is good. But I'm having another worry now, and that is, can we actually pop all of these? Now, that is a question. The alchemist is going to be our lead popping means. Actually, the glue slows them down, so that was a good choice. Get glue and alchemist so that... You can slow down the balloons enough so that the alchemist can hit in its AOE with multiple leads. So slow that down, hit multiple leads. There we go. Excellent. I feel if it wasn't for the glue gunner, then this might not have been possible. Oh yeah, you always want the jar of pickles when it comes to any stage of the super monkey below tier three. Like, it is incredibly beneficial because each of its darts only does one damage and with the incredibly fast fire rate in which the super monkey has, like, 
you're increasing the amount of damage from one to two per projectile but because it's um its fire rate is incredibly fast it doesn't mean that you're losing out on potential damage you're actually getting a gigantic buff with it because you're going from like say 100 percent uh attack speed to 90 percent attack speed but you're actually getting two pops per projectile rather than one which means you are nearly doubling your attack output uh we do need that range first so we can get more pierce it's not stated but if you do do go for middle path it increases your pierce as well as your range which is doubly oh, beneficial but do we increase it even more no i think we're good where we are more lead balloons to try and compensate and we did that so geraldo is 408 away from a a jerry's fire i'm honestly gonna hold out i'm not what too worried about those potential pots being stolen by the alchemists and other towers just because i just want geraldo to naturally progress but i don't think that's going to be an option here I don't want to, but we're going to have to buy Geraldo's as level 8 and then buy the Jerry's Fire so that we can actually pop these lead balloons much more easily, for goodness sakes. I'd rather wait till the next level, but we just don't have a choice in this manner. Which means it's going to delay our MIB purchase. Which means it'll delay our purchases of the top tier upgrades. There goes round 39. Let's put Pickles back on our Super Monkey here. And because we can actually peek through this little gap in the field here, I think we will be able to attack the Moab. Okay, I thought I was going to be able to attack the Moab incredibly gradually, but not too much. Maybe we need more range before we can do that with a village of some sorts. And speaking of village, I think we're going to need to put one down now for our efforts over regardless of where it's going to be the it's going to be able to affect the alchemist which is not ideal but it's just one of those things no we don't want to remove any of the corn thank you very much we could if we want to put another tower here but it requires a tower with a very small footprint but do we need that i don't think so and i'd rather just save the money anyways and not put down another tower if i don't need to so we've got mib now which means we can go for laser blasts and plasma blasts without the risk of not being able to pop purples because yes this is more powerful but it also means we cannot put pur sorry pop purple balloons without the need of an mib which is now what we have, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so let's go laser blast. Oh my goodness sakes, that's annoying. Laser blast. Do we need pickles first? No, we dealt with all the ceramics, which is good. Which is really good. Bigger radius. And at some point, jungle drums. Yeah, we need an extra attack speed before we can get the extra um, damage from plasma blast. Like... In this way, in comparison to my Trade Empire, the Anti-Balloon 2TC 2MP video, I like the fact that we've got cheaper prices on the top path, but I'm still a bit bummed by the middle path nerfs in its price. So now that we're at Plasma Blast, our next objective is to get the Sun Avatar, but that's going to be more difficult than you think, because I think round 60 is going to be a bit of a bane in our existence, simply because of the fact that, well... <laughs> We're not going to get 21,600 by round 60. I'm just going to say that out loud. It's not going to be a possibility. Oh gosh, we need some help for this round. Actually, our pickles ran out. So I think that might be the cure to our issues here. Like, Plasma Blast is really powerful. But it's only because of the sheer amount of plasma that's fired out. Like, it still only does one damage. But because of the amount of them that we're firing out, it means that we're just doing so much damage. But because of the amount that we're firing out, it means it is incredibly poor with an alchemist because of the sheer factor that the alchemist is reliant on time or the amount that you're firing out. So if you're firing out a stupid amount of projectiles over a period of time, I'm not talking about like Sky Shredder projectile amount per time it fires out. I'm just talking about the amount of time that you're firing out per time that you're firing out. So in this case, alchemists are an incredibly poor choice when it comes to super monkeys because of its sheer fire rate. At least it's not a yellow balloon. 
This could just be on luck this round, to be honest. Like, if I just... I think if I just target the Moabs first and then go down to Ceramics, I think that should... Yeah, that's done the job properly there. So, yeah. Uh, 21,600. It's looking like a no bueno at this given point in time. Although, I could prove myself wrong, actually. Like, we're very close now to it. <laughs> I was doing a test game of this, and I was like, I was really struggling... To actually get it, we've actually got Sun Avatar. For goodness sakes, I proved myself wrong. When it comes to Soul and Pop so far, let's see, we've got 317 there. We've got 1,500. Roldo's got a fair few Soul and Pops. But as time goes on and when this thing becomes more powerful with a, um, let's say, an Overclock, for example, we're going to have a far better time when it comes to minimizing the amount of pop stolen this could also be a fact as to why we got sun avatar quite early actually no jungle drums we need to fix this as soon as possible oh i might restart the round because of the lack of pickles pickles and jerry's fire what about that kind of combination <laughs> what am i missing i don't know what i'm missing i must be missing something am i missing something I possibly am, yeah, but I'm not too sure. But, I don't know. Possibly did. Minimal pot stolen, but that's okay. Oh, I know why. Because I was trying to go for an overclock, which is why I had all that excess money over. I was thinking, is there a bug involved? No. I just didn't purchase cleansing foam that time around, but now I have. Round 63. All of these ceramics are going to be... Uh, very close when it comes to... Um, our ability to actually i'm gonna use some globs from jerry sorry for me for geraldo here just to slow them down so that then we are actually able to get all of them within the sun avatar's grass rather than any pop stolen because that is a lot of ceramics unlike most other towers pickles is an absolute staple in this run we need pickles if we're going to get this two mega pops with the sun avatar while also doing the no harvest achievement isn't that just fantastic we should have a far easier time once we get overclock because it's going to rapidly increase the fire rate of our sun avatar when we apply it to the sun avatar itself it just means that we're going to get few steals from other towers here yeah you can definitely reach the bfb from here and obviously the moab but when it comes to regular balloons, we're going to need some invisibility potion, but we're only going to get that Hello. once Geraldo gets to level 14. It is overclock time for our sun avatar once we can apply it and since it's a tier 3 tower, even when we get the ability back up and running, the spanner will still be on the sun avatar since it's a tier 3 tower, which means it lasts for more than 100% of the time. This really is an equivalent of a tier 4 tower, if you think about it. Now that Geraldo is at level 14, let's apply the invisibility potion, which means now our sun avatar can pop regular balloons over on this part of the track here. Moabs. Okay, this round was not a good example. Or is it? Yeah, so I spawn on this round as well, doesn't it? No, still... <laughs> this is a poor example of this experiment, for goodness sakes. But I swear the next round will be better. Also said, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we can attack balloons over here. Which you may not think as much, but it makes a bit of difference if we have a an, if we have another angle of attack here, which is what this particular item with invisibility potion can do. Enable us to attack this little point over here. Do a little bit of chip damage. Also increases the range of the um the Jerry's fire as well, so he can attack balloons over here now. Our next objective financially is to get both call to arms and homeland defense because that extra attack speed and also that extra pierce is going to be vital for our success here. Okay, round 76. Let's clear that round up. I've turned auto start off now because of the fact that I'm quite comfortable with our setup now. Now, there are two things I would like to talk about from this point onwards and possibly another thing after that because you know that i like talking sometimes i like to ramble my mouth sometimes and the first thing i want to talk about sorry for hitting the escape by the way first thing i want to talk about is well the introduction of this video elite lich or even just a case lich on polyphemus i looked at that scenario and thought 
there's absolutely no way that I'm going to sit down and try and come up with a strategy in order to beat that map. The map is short. The map is multi-laned. The only meetup point is the left side of the eye, which you can only, uh, which you can only really access if you have the financial means of keeping it open. And in some cases, you need to spend every single drop of money on your monkey farms and on other towers in order to get through that round. Like I said, only the sweatiest of the sweats will be able to come up with a strategy in order to beat that map. Polyphemus is not an intermediate map. And I dare say it, I think Polyphemus is an expert map. Definitely advanced at the very least, but... I sometimes think that Ninja Kiwi doesn't really test their own maps far enough to try and get a very accurate gauge as to like, well, how many people, people sorry, could possibly beat this map without any prior knowledge as to like, okay, if you put these set of towers over here and perform this strategy, can it be beaten by somebody who is, well, on their first day of the game? And I'm not just saying, I'm not saying like, it has to be stupidly easy. But I am saying that Polyphemus is a very poor map for a boss balloon. Heck, Dark Castle is a better map for a boss balloon. Not particularly Lich, by the way, because of its Lich soul mechanic. But just from a... Just from... Just doing the um, the boss event itself. I forgot to buy Call to Arms, by the way, and that might kick us in the teeth, but... It's one of the worst maps to put a boss event on because of the sheer fact of what the map has in store for you. I don't care about the fact that you can open up the eye and that any upgrades in the eye itself is cheaper, it provides innate camo detection, and it provides innate jungle drums. You have to keep opening up that eye, and if you place a land tower inside of it, in which you put it in there because you have a middle path ice tower on if you close up the eye and then open it back up that land tower is removed and let's say if you have a ultra boost stack on it well it removes that ultra boost stack and it removes that tower yes you did get your refund but it removes the tower in which you are relying on in order to get through that scenario. Which is why I I looked at that scenario as soon as I opened up Balloon Tower Defense 6 after a six hour shift at work today. And I'm like, nah, this is the first like, boss event where I'm skipping out. I would rather replay Elite Vortex on Monkey Meadows. I am not joking. I would rather put... Oh, hold on. I would rather relive the utter pain of Monkey Meadows Elite Vortex when it was pre-nerfed. Because at least that map is actually fundamentally possible. Even though the map itself is very, very anti-stun friendly because of a sheer fact that, well, you can't really place a tower anywhere and expect it to not be uh, stunned at all it's like it's a very very bad map when it comes to avoiding stunts which is kind of why you need like high degree like high degree goliath doom ship of that factor but it, polyphemus despite the fact that you have a lot of space for farms it's just such a bad map like balloons appear on both sides of the map and the only meetup point is in an area in which you can only really place water towers down so that's why I gave up on that boss scenario before I even started. I took one look at it and I went, nah, I'm good. I would rather save my soul than trying to do that stupid scenario and leave it up to the sweatiest of the sweats in order to actually try and do that scenario. I hate boss scenarios like that. Because it makes me think that somebody at Ninja Kiwi thought, you know what, this is a good map to test this out on. But without even doing any kind of like testing involved to see if it's actually fundamentally possible i may actually need to put down a glue of some kind over here so that we can actually get through this scenario just a like zero one three it does mean we delay getting homeland defense but it also means that we don't have to contest with the idea of overly fast moabs coming up here 
Uh, maybe I used that call to arms too soon in that round. Yeah, I think that might be the case. Like, we have pickles, definitely, but it's still not going to save us from an otherwise dramatic scenario. Okay, Gerardo has 2,000. Yeah, we're definitely going to get a lot more steals here, especially pre-homeland um, pre defense, but auto my balloons are not a big issue because of the pickles. The pickles provide the power to go through the, the fortified property issue here. Uh, another call to arms. There we go. And as you think about it now, um, because of the fact that we have the means to be able to do this kind of damage, it means that DTs are probably going to be one of our least biggest issues here. For this size from round 99 ones, actually, fortified DTs are still a huge menace in their own right. But one thing we definitely do need to reapply is the pickles. And the second thing I'd like to mention in this video is something that um, I mentioned in my last video. If you have not watched it, it's the Trade Empire anti-balloon tube um, tower tube scenario. And there's the ring in my ears that I've been witnessing for quite a while now. And people have pointed out, and just by the way, I have a lot of the lovely people in my comment sections below. And uh, I'm just really grateful for um, the care that people have, honestly. Like... There's obviously a lot of people out there that may um, spill out nice things, but they only do it in a way to like, encourage you to create more content. But I honestly feel like some of the people are incredibly sincere with what they're saying, and I'm incredibly thankful for all of your support. And it's, yeah, as people called out, I think it definitely is tinnitus, where you have that constant ringing in your ears, and it's really aggravating. And um, I'm not saying it's like it's soul draining or anything like that it's not preventing me from being able to do what it is that i need to do but it's just a constant irritation in mind and being a very tall person doesn't help because i'm very prone to hitting my head on the ceiling which is not a good feeling which to have if you have a neurological issue like that like honestly okay we're going to now i'm going to restart this round and try and prolong our usage of quarter arms so we can get homeland defense won't name them, but somebody in my comment sections below said that they also have tinnitus as well. And I, my heart goes out to you. And thank you for the fact of actually sharing out your experience as well with it. Because it's very empathetic in a way to share your own personal experience. Something of similar in which someone else is going through. We would need to delay our homeland defense. Our call to arms usage for this round. Right, we're nearly there with Homeland Defense, and there we go. As soon as I buy it, I'm just going to use it straight away in order to try and get through as many layers as we possibly can. Because it does apply to both attack speed and attack pierce. Okay, so where are we with steals? Uh, Geraldo's at, hmm, okay, 8,000, 9,000, uh... Yeah, near enough around 11,000 pops. Like, that's probably to be expected. We're going to go up to... Hmm, we're going to get ourselves a glue strike. So we can do a little bit more damage against these balloons at certain durations. Just a glue strike. Nothing too crazy. Like, I don't know. <laughs> a wonderful glue storm. Because we can't afford it. But we definitely need that extra damage against something like, let's say, the fortified ZUMGs, the fortified DDTs, etc., etc. Okay, so Blue Strike, Homeland Defense. We should be able to get another Homeland Defense up when these ZUMGs pass around, especially because of the fact that we have a small glue down here. And honestly, we're going to go up to Glue Splatter with Relentless Glue, so we can affect more balloons, but also get some stuns off when they are popped. Let's see. Oh, that firepower is so nice to have. So thank you. It really means a lot to me that there are people out there that do have some kind of empathy involved when it comes to these sort of matters who also experience it. But also sympathize for others if you don't have a similar scenario to what they're going through. Because sympathy in a way is really, really lovely. Like to um, just have some concern for another person because it feels like at times nowadays that the world is kind of just spiraling into just what, what is just the best thing for my own personal self-interests. 
Wow, oh my god, this is why you need home defense. Get full of these bloody ZMGs. <laughs> and now, round 99. Fortified DDTs. Let's see. We're going to need Balloon Sabo for round 100. Uh, fortified DDTs. No, 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 no. no. Even with... We're, even with the even with the pickles, we need another means of slowing them down. How about Le Rejuve Potion? Here we go. Here's the Rejuve Potion in effect to give ourselves another homeland defense. Excellent. Round. Oh, hold on. Need our balloon saber up again <laughs> since I didn't buy it. Okay, so in brittlement and we have enough for another yes. rejuve potion okay so when it comes to stolen pops that's near enough three thousand that is okay so eight thousand or actually nine thousand uh, yeah ten thousand coming up to twelve thousand yeah we're still pretty good in contention when it comes to what we need to do here honestly so gonna bring that back gonna use a glue strike what are we going to use that about now, actually? Homeland defense up the schwa swizzles. Whatever that means. Um, don't need anything else, actually. Well, actually, we'll get a larger radius so we can affect this sooner. And... Going to get another reju potion. Going to apply that to there. And... Oh, gosh. Bandage right up. Thank you very much. And another Homeland defense. Oh, gosh. We're already there. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, the obliteration of that. We got two million and twenty-six thousand pops. <laughs> what a delight that is! Two million and twenty-six thousand pops. No harvest with a tier three tower. Like that's that's just honestly astonishing, honestly. <laughs> oh dearie me. <laughs> that screenshot took a long time to try and go through, honestly. I don't know why that happened, but that's just brilliant. Like <laughs> that's the sort of thing we done before. A tier three, no harvest. I probably think Sun Avatar is probably the only one that's possible. Like, I would imagine any other tier three could possibly do this sort of thing. Like, we've done a um We've done one with Ultra Juggernaut, so that's primary. We've done one with several military towers, so that's uh, military, obviously. We don't want a Century Champion, so that is the uh, the support category. Now we've got one with the Magic Tower category. That's brilliant. We've got at least one No Harvest, two Mega Pops with every single kind of category tower down. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope this has been a um, a different experience from the usual boss event. But honestly, I would rather do anything else than play this boss on this map. Hope others can sympathize with me in that way as well. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please be sure to use my creator support code. If you are in the store, that would be eternally appreciated. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, everybody.